This is a demonstration on how to replace a spring in a Max Torque SS clutch, SS standing for six shoe. The parts you'll need are an inch and a quarter spade drill or an inch and a quarter Fossner bit. But if you don't have these, don't go out and buy one. You can do the same thing by elevating the clutch drive plate with some nuts. In this case, I'm using 5 16 nuts. What I don't want is the hub to be resting on the piece of wood. I want the hub either to go in the hole that I've drilled or through the nuts. So the other thing that you should buy from the store is a one inch piece of PVC coupling. They're less than 40 cents at the Menards or Ace Hardware. It's a simple tool. You'll see how we use that, this a little later. So taking the clutch apart, we start with the smaller snap ring pliers, remove the outer snap ring, the drum lifts off, and then we remove the sprocket from the drum with the larger snap ring pliers. The sprocket will just push out with your fingers, and now the drum is what I'm looking for to contain the clutch. This is the secret for reassembling it. I've already pre-drilled three holes in it. It's easier to drill the holes from the inside out so you can take a file and hit the burr on the outside. Take a notice at the shoes. The wear mark on the shoe will always be on the bottom third or quarter of the shoe. By the time the shoe has sufficient RPM, it will be locked against the drum and no longer in a slip mode. So this is how the shoes will always look in the clutch. So putting the clutch in the hole we've drilled, taking the snap ring off, you'll see why the clutch drum is so to keep everything together. One of the shoes did jump off, which will happen to you, and that's why we want to contain everything in the drive plate using the drum. So I am only going to put one screw in this thing for, for speed. I'm putting this in here like this to center it and putting the screw in that hole that I already pre-drilled. Now you'll notice on the drive plate there's a blank where we bend up the tab. So I'm going to call this the left hand side, right hand side. When putting in the stronger or weaker spring, you in this case, we're going from the silver spring that came out of it to the black spring, which is our strongest spring. First, put your six shoes back in. Connect the, sh the spring together, and where it's connected, you're going to put this connection in the middle of the left-hand shoe. Again, the left-hand shoe, because the right one will tilt down. So putting that in there, you're holding it in place with your index finger and your thumb. This is where this tool comes in very handy, your piece of one inch PVC. You put the dust cover with the snap ring in it, and as you put that over, you're sliding your fingers out and pressure, pressure always to push it down. With it down, you take that one inch piece of PVC, put it over the snap ring, take a large hammer or the flat of a hammer like this, and just whack it, the snap ring slides down over the taper and completely closes. That's the simplicity of putting it back together using the drum to contain everything. Then you just reassemble, put your sprocket back in the drum. Having a hole in it will not affect the clutch. For instance, somebody did this to completely reduce a lot of the weight in the clutch drum. As long as you drill the holes evenly, it's fine. They've even put holes on the side. It does not take away from the integrity of the clutch. It helps to reduce the weight. That's your tip of the week from Max Torque. We thank you.